Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So it is early August now and the pink lemonade blueberries are starting to ripen up. So let's go pick some and give them a taste. These are the Spartan blueberries. I'll pick a couple of these just to give it a bit of contrast. Some of the larger ones. We've been eating these for uh, the last couple of weeks already. Just a couple will do. Now these are the pink lemonade blueberries. I'm picking the ones that are very, very pink. Looks beautiful. So I'm gonna pick some of the ones, like I said, that are the most pink, that are the most ripe. Those are the ones we're gonna give a try. Put some back here. I think there's another one back there. Oh, that one fell off on its own. Maybe this one. Alright. Give those a shot. All right, so here they are. I uh, just want to mention real quick that I really don't struggle growing uh, blueberries. So um, I know a lot of people struggle with it. I All I really do is keep a high organic matter content and make sure that there's uh, plenty of mulch on the top. So there's always a breakdown happening in the soil. And that's pretty much it. So um, in the past, I have put like a little bit of old unused coffee grounds on the top so that obviously acidified the soil a little bit but that's really all i've ever done and it was just a small amount so i really don't think that even had that much effect in the long run like maybe initially but after a while that would have just you know the coffee would have leached, leached out and um, that would have been it so that's really all i do and um, if, you're, if you're struggling with with growing blueberries uh, you could try acidifying the soil a little bit um, keeping high organic matter content, rich, moist soil, you know, stuff like that. That's really the majority of what I have to say about it right now. Maybe in future that might change, but that's all I got right now. And that's just applies to the Spartan Blueberry and the Pink Lemonade Blueberry as well. So, that out of the way, I want to try a couple of the Spartan Blueberries first. In comparison to store-bought strawberries, they taste a whole lot better. They have already been eating them for the last couple of weeks, but I'll eat a couple just to kind of get a bit of a bearing of the flavor. No, oh, they're delicious. I mean, the big thing is, from homegrown strawberry, no, strawberries, Homegrown blueberries as compared to store-bought blueberries is just that you get a lot more of that blueberry flavor. I tend to find that if you buy them in the store, I mean, I, they're good, I buy them because I don't grow blueberries year round, so I still buy them every once in a while. But um, I find that they often just taste just a lot more watery. You know, there's not like an abundance of blueberry flavor. And I find that if you grow them yourself, there's just always a lot of flavor. It just really, um, really just pops. So, and they always have a good texture, you know, sometimes maybe they could sit for a while and the texture kind of goes off, whereas with, with homegrown ones, they're always like, they always give that nice pop in your mouth. So it just, I don't know, it's just a lot better. <laughs> so without further ado, I really am excited to start tr to try a couple of these pink lemonade blueberries. I mean, they just look so cool. Almost, almost looks a little bit like a cranberry. I mean, they're in the same family, you know. So that might make some sense, but just with the color and everything, it just definitely reminds me a little bit of a, of a cranberry. All right, so I'm gonna probably just pop one in the mouth for, not, for right now. Woo! All right.
Okay, so these are these are named pink lemonade blueberries because they're sometimes um, said to maybe have a little bit of pink lemonade flavor to them. All the reviews that are, other reviews that I found online don't really support that, and um, I have to agree, <laughs> they don't taste like pink lemonade to me. It's kind of like my pit, my um, my pine berry story, where pine pine berries supposedly have a little bit of pine, pineapple flavor to them. To me, I haven't really found that yet. Although some of the really ripe pine berries do have some extra flavor to them, it's really really delicious. Uh, but it's kind of the same story here. I'm just not getting pink lemonade. It's um, it tastes like. It maybe tastes like um, to me. To me, it, it tastes like a sweeter blueberry without as much of the blueberry flavor. Like if I compare that to a regular blueberry or Spartan blueberry, homegrown blueberry, yeah, yeah. So there's more of that blueberry flavor in an actual blueberry. I think lemonade blueberry doesn't have that quite as much they're still really good they're very sweet but you just get less of the blueberry flavor they're really good they look super cool it's another color it's definitely a bit of a, an interesting thing but yeah the flavor wise you don't get as much of blueberry flavor it's sweeter, I would say, definitely, than a regular blueberry. But that's pretty much it. There's no pink lemonade blueberry. I mean, the reason why maybe I can see that the, these are called pink lemonade blueberries is because they are sweeter. Maybe because they're so sweet, like, oh yeah, it's like you're tasting... Yeah, and they're pink. Maybe that's where the pink lemonade reference comes from. But, um, yeah, I think that's all I gotta say about it. I'm really excited that I got them now. They're, they are really delicious, but no pink lemonade flavor, unfortunately. So, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Tot de volgende keer.